three years after, mm -hmm. uh, uh, what is the, the policy of uh, the police uh, department of Oklahoma City when it comes to enforcing the 1804 bill? Well, we have to enforce the 1804 bill because it's state law. I mean, state law requires us to, if they're arrested on a felony charge, a DUI, then they have to be, they have to be checked to see if they're in this country legally, and then it has to be forwarded to uh, immigrations if, if that's the case. But that's all done at the county jail. So 1804 really requires us to do certain things, but it does not, it does not allow us to be. Uh, immigration officers or enforce immigration laws. So c city police do not do not specifically enforce immigration laws, but it does require us in case of a felony arrest to, to report those. So when you say in, uh, in case of a felony arrest such as a DUI, and when you say enforce, uh, are you saying that the <coughs> police officer on the field who's making the arrest is going to ask the person about the immigration status, or he just arrest them and then take him to the county jail? He, ta over there? he takes them to the county jail and they're, they're, they're checked at the county jail as to whether or not they're, they're here legally or not. Okay. So, I mean, the officer can ascertain in the field if there's a felony arrest and try to determine those types of things. It's, it's, not a, it's not a violation of our policies to ask him under those circumstances if he's arrested for a felony or a DUI, whether or not he's in the country legally or not, and he can forward that information once he's booked into jail. But it has to be under those circumstances. Well, what about traffic stops, a common traffic stop? Just like speeding, or and then asking for a driver's license and not having it. Can an officer just uh, just then just uh, per se ask for the immigration status? Well, it's not it's not part of our policy to ask for under the circumstances of, of writing a traffic citation to determine whether or not a person here is legal or not. That is not in fact our policy. That we can't. We can't enforce immigration laws, so it really it doesn't make any difference whether or not on a traffic stop, whether or not the person is here legally or not. So, so asking that person is pretty is, is really irrelevant because we don't arrest for that purpose. We can't arrest them for being here illegally on a regular traffic stop. You know, I'm asking for. We had an incident uh, last Monday in which a police officer, a motorized uh, police officer, uh, asked uh, a couple of. Uh, uh, guys, if they were here legally or illegally in the country, is that like a standard procedure? No, it's not standard procedure. In most cases, an officer, there's no reason for an officer to ask uh, a person if they're here legally or not. And if they do that, if we were to make that standard procedure, we'd be asking everybody whether they're whether they're white, uh, African American, Hispanic, you know, Asian. To, to be fair and to not discriminate, then we'd be asking everybody if they're here legally or not if they don't have a driver's license. So that is not something that that we require, encourage our officers to do, is to ask them if they're here, here illegal, illegally, because they can't they can't arrest anyway. If they say, if a person were to say, yes, I'm here illegally, it's under those circumstances, there's nothing the officer could do anyway. Our officers do not enforce immigration laws, nor do we call and report those under those circumstances. But they do write in the citation. Okay. Um, I'm asking because um, I only manage 14 people, and I sometimes don't know what every single one of those 14 people are, are doing. And you manage, I think, a force of 900 men and women in uniform. So I'm pretty sure that some of them might not follow policy. Is there any procedure if you detect that somebody's not following the policy? Yeah, if, if, if we get a complaint on anything, whether it's something like this or anything, we'll follow up on it to determine whether or not that person is, is following the policy or violated those policies or procedures. Yeah. Have you circulate a memo through all the police force stating that they, uh, in cases such as the traffic uh, violations, uh, should not ask or inquire about immigration status? When we did, when we changed our policy several years ago as a result of, of 1804 and some of those types, some of those issues, we changed our policy. We had in-service, and we have in-service on a regular basis. And we, we actually had an in-service on the immigration issues of what the officers should and should not do based on the changes that we made in our policy. And our policies basically were put in place so that the Hispanic community is not afraid to call us, is not afraid to interact with us, because we don't want them to think, if they're not here legally, we don't want them to fail to report a crime or do something because they feel like we're going to arrest them for immigration, because we have no authority in that realm. We just, we don't have the authority. So the officers actually were, had, had a class, based on the changes we made several years ago, all officers, to inform them of what the policy means and what we can and cannot do in regards to immigration laws. And 